Hey, today's video is for leaders who want to live a blissful, confident and happy life. I'm calling it the beach formula. B E A C H. Beach. The B stands for bold thinking. If you want to be a powerful leader, your thinking has to be bold. See, I did not say big thinking. I said bold thinking. Thought process that shows that you're bold. Most people today, if you think about it, 95% of men and women or any gender, 95% of leaders do not have bold thinking. They just copy paste somebody else's thinking. Oh, my neighbor is thinking this way. I'm gonna think that way. Can you see those fruits, by the way, right there? Can you see that orange color? Can't copy that. You gotta be the bold version of you, right? So B stands for bold thinking. The E stands for executive presence. If you wanna be a powerful leader, and if you want to reach the next level, you have to have executive presence. Your presence has to matter. I'm not talking about wearing tie and suit only. Your presence has to matter. When you enter a room, your presence has to be felt. When you leave a room, your presence has to be missed. For most people, I, I, maybe for you, may not be for you, but when you leave a room, can people feel something is missing? Or people feel, oh, he's gone, she's gone, that's it. Your presence has to be missed. Your presence has to be felt. The lack of presence has to be felt. The, uh, this is, this is going to be very, very important. So, bold thinking, executive presence. The A stands for authority. If you want to be a powerful leader and an elite individual, you have to have authority. Now, authority, if you look at the word authority, the first six letters is author. Can you see that? Authority, author. Doesn't mean you have to write a book. But... Authority in two ways. Number one, authority in your personality, but also you have to publish something. Your thought. This is what we call thought leadership. You know, some of the people inside Elite Transformation Mastermind, including you know Madhusudan, Nisha, Shweta, a lot of people, as you can see on the screen, they consistently write articles on LinkedIn. Why? Authority. Now they are hearing from their clients, from their super boss, from their directors hey when is the next article coming nisha hey mother sudan i really appreciate that about you hey shweta i read that article this is amazing why because you are creating authority most people want a shortcut in authority there is no shortcut in being an authority there is no shortcut in being like if you want to be a mother it's gonna take nine months ten months eight and a half months you can't do it in six three months right so authority very important so Bold thinking, executive presence, authority. The C stands for certainty. Certainty. Most people are filled with doubts and that's why they are average. You have to have certainty. Certainty about what you're saying. Certainty about what you're thinking. When you speak, for example, I'm going to give you an example. Uh, I think that if you try, it may work. Uh, I don't know. Can't guarantee. <laughs> Check it out. That's a bad way of communication. Here's what you could say. I know for a fact, knowing what I know about you, if you put your heart and soul into it, you are bound to get results. I am 100% certain about it. See, certainty sells. People buy confidence. People buy certainty. And the H stands for humor. If you want to have a happy and confident life, you have to have humor. Humor doesn't mean you are, you are, you are joking all the time, you are, you are being a comedian. You have to have a sense of humor. Sometimes life does not go always according to your plan. Sometimes it's your plan. Sometimes it's nature's plan. Sometimes it's God's plan. And I believe, this is my belief. God's plan for me is better than my plan for myself. And I believe in God, but I'm not, I'm not, I, I trust God. I rely on God. But when I'm working, I'm behaving as if it's only me. What do I mean by that? Here is what I mean. What I mean is very, very simple stuff. When I pray, let's say, if I pray for an hour, I feel at that time, it's all God, only God can do everything. The remaining 23 hours, I work and I live my life as if only I can do everything. So one hour, it's all up to God. Remaining 23 hours, it's all up to me. That's how I work. So humor, you know, Something goes wrong, don't be tense all the time. If you want to have a happy, confident and powerful life, 
have a sense of humor, laugh sometimes. You can see on the screen, we have a lot of fun inside our program and people who know me personally, we have, I have a lot of fun, you know. I'm all about intensity, I'm all about progress, I'm all about making an impact, but also it has to be done in a fun way. You don't want to be known as a grumpy person who never laughs and I like to, I like to have a little bit of fun, a uh, little bit, not, not a lot, uh, who knows, depends on how much laugh you can take. Sometimes, you know, a couple of days ago I was talking to somebody and he's like the most serious person in the world uh, and I said, uh, what's the best quality you like in yourself? He said, I'm very friendly, very approachable. I said, you are approachable? Who approached you? He said, uh, three months ago a stranger said, nice talking to you. I said, give me that number of the stranger. I have to send him to a good psychiatrist. <laughs> okay. So you got to have some sense of humor in life. So these are the beat. This is the beach formula. All right. Bold thinking, executive presence, authority, certainty, and humor. If you have these six things, I can tell you that you're going to have a happy life, powerful life, confident life. Things will really shift for you, change for you. And that's all I have for you. If you are ready to take yourself to the next level, here is what I recommend you do next. If you are ready to be a powerful speaker, and if you're ready to amp up your communication, just like many of our clients, call the number that you see on the screen. Talk to one of our team members, and we'll be happy to talk to you. Vishal Sarkar here reminding Hello. you that public speaking is not about perfection. It's all about connection. Call the number right now. Only one request I would be having with you, once you attend the program, once you learn the practical aspects of public speaking, please go and apply in your life. Because if you don't go and apply in your life, then it is of no use. Then all the effort what the trainer, Mr. Vishal has put on you will go on vain. Hey everyone, this is Aninita and I would like to share a few things with you today. So before this program, I used to struggle with lack of confidence while speaking but after joining this program I have increased my confidence level by five times imagine also before joining this program I used to struggle with spontaneous speaking but after joining this program my spontaneous speaking with the help of various frameworks has improved tremendously so i would like to share with every one of you do not think before joining this program just go ahead and enroll